in the end they showed no empathy at all for my pain they showed no empathy for what i had to go through and it's even worse i think that the physician who killed my mother he has a big big responsibility towards me and towards my children and towards my sister it is the fundamental philosophical question that is evoked in all of the debates that is the right to autonomy the right to choose for oneself but it must be well noted that this definitely has an impact on the overall concept of medicine. La conception que l'on se fait collectivement de la médecine. I think that euthanasia is not really a matter of faith, it's a matter of human values, it's a matter of the respect of human life and not kill innocent uh, persons. It's also a matter of care. We are not autonomous people who are living alone and dying when they want. We are in a society with other persons taking care of us. Our dignity does not come from our independence. When we are living and we discover that we need to depend on other people, it does not diminish our dignity. It is simply a recognition of our need for one another. I think it's impossible to put uh, safeguards because it's also impossible to know what is a terminally ill situation. It's very difficult to make a prognosis. They are talking about safeguarding a person against making a sudden hasty decision. But those safeguards do not guard one against the fundamental reality that a person is asking to be killed. And a person doing it is killing someone. My granddad developed uh, non-Hodgkin's lymph cancer at uh, roughly 80 years of age. I have a sister who is a um, physician. She's a medical doctor. She lives in the United States now. Uh, and I phoned her up uh, when I'd heard that granddad had uh, non-Hodgkin's cancer and asked her uh, what the prognosis was for somebody roughly 80 years old who was just in the starting phase, the early phase of non-Hodgkin's cancer. And she estimated that he would have had probably about three years. Um, the first year and a half would probably have been reasonable in terms of comfort. The, the last phase would have been painful. I remember being uh, surprised at how lethargic he was. He, he couldn't articulate properly because his tongue was swollen up. Now these are typical symptoms of morphine overdose. By Thursday of that week, an aunt of mine uh, was visiting uh, him and she was giving him some water. And one of the nursing staff came by and said to, to her, don't do that, you're prolonging the process of his dying. And she said, what? 